You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Time to go back on pump duty. So appreciate you guys watching along. Another day of manure hauling. We got enough rain last night that we didn't want to mow anything. We got rain coming in tonight. Um, yeah, so they actually unhooked me already, which is good. Let's check our fluids, check everything. We're battling that fuel. Um, like it's running out of fuel. A lot of good comments, and I do believe it's either something in the tank or the lift pump. So it could be easy enough something in the tank. That's how stuff goes. They filled it right up. <sighs> I was gonna say, I don't want it filled. I wanna run it out of fuel. So now it's gonna take me like 20 hours to run this out of fuel or we gotta drain it. Oh, that's a pain. So if it's sitting, it's probably not gonna do it because it sits around, but <laughs> that ruined my plan. But appreciate you guys watching along. Let's dive into today and uh, get some manure out. First load headed out. Load up full. Old girl working today. We got about a foot left. This shouldn't go, shouldn't take very long just because we're spreading one of our closest fields and we're putting on for corn, so uses quite a bit of manure. Yeah, it's gonna work along, so hopefully it stays running. Full tank of fuel. And uh, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't my plan. They used all the fuel to uh, fill the tractor. And so we're out of fuel. The delivery truck's coming this morning, but my plan was to take some fuel go over to the Mac, let that thing run low on fuel, and then we'd be good, so. It is what it is, but. Alrighty, we'll go take the white truck off the dump trailer, and we'll throw it on the manure tanker. Spreading, so tanker's doing, started down out that side, it's wetter down there, so he's gonna get that spread, but we really don't have all that much to spread. So we'll go pretty quick, hopefully. So I'll run this truck in the tanker and yeah, be done by lunchtime. Hopefully, maybe sooner. Probably curse myself saying that, but gotta be positive, right? So rain expected later. Um, and then it's supposed to be like three or four good days of running. So we gotta get things dialed back in and we'll get the mower going probably tomorrow at lunchtime once it dries up a little bit and then we'll push hard through the weekend that's the plan welcome to the world of slurry store problems so we got a good foot left in here and we've hauled out um, probably 40,000 this morning and it just it's too solid as far as the manure to actually pump any longer that is a known slurry store problem and the fact that our milkroom waste does not go into the slurry stuff like that it makes it more challenging for us if y'all remember we still got all our pipes down in here and it's one big party so we are gonna lay our pipes out and get going we got water going now yeah had to jump start it because my father canceled the order for the key that is missing to run it. So I'm, I'm really confused. He also ran into my motor that I pulled out of the chopper, backed right into it. So I gotta go pick it up and hope that the cast oil pan is not smashed from him. Making my life harder every day, but we'll let it run for a little bit and uh, come back and do it. Yanko thinks something's still in that pipe. It's full of water, so if there was something in it, but it's not there any longer. Alrighty, back at it. So, we pumped a little more water than I wanted to, but I did uh, run and do some errands. And uh, grab myself some lunch, but this is where we're at. Yeah, we pumped way too much water, but it's agitating very well. We're just gonna put it on heavier because, well, majority of water so I don't know if 
we put eight inches onto it. That looks like a tennis ball right there. Fuck. Yeah. And you gotta think, this is agitating with that open, so when it's shut, it's much more aggressive. But that'll get all the solids broke up. Allow us to suck this right down to the bottom, which is uh, really what you gotta do with these. If you let the solids build up, they just become nightmares. Fuel truck's here. That's a good sign. Then we can uh, fuel up the Mac and see if we can get it home. I'm gonna figure out what exactly. If it is that lift pump, then we'll change it out. If not, then it's gonna be a draw tube, I'm thinking. But 7520, I'm pretty sure because it's been running nonstop pretty well. Well, really well that uh, it's something in that tank. So we really gotta get that sucked back down, figure out what's floating in it or stuck in it. And if it's some, I don't know, rust, some foreign material that's supposed to not be in there. So we'll keep going though. So this is an easy run right here. down here this field on the right then we took the triticale off and then uh i got a chisel plow it and disc it and then we got all the acres to finish up the corn
Well, I might have 800 bucks into that thing. It's a 3,000 gallon. Definitely treated me very well. So, like I said, he's got a few more loads to spread there. And he'll be done. I'm gonna dive into the next thing. So once he's done, I'll throw the 7520 on. Get that field worked in before the rain. So, and I believe it's still supposed to rain tonight pretty significantly into tomorrow. But, we will see. Mother Nature has a way of uh, being mysterious with what she actually wants to do compared to what the weatherman says. So, buddy Dana Prouty there. Um, we got hammered two days ago with rain. and Or yesterday with rain. And Dana said he got sprinkles. It went north and south of him. He got nothing. So, it is what it is. We actually needed some of that milk moisture. So, I'm not against it, I'd just like to be done with grass. Finally got around to adding the names that I forgot. So I apologize for forgetting your guys' names. Everybody did send me an email, I just forgot to tag it or something. So if your name is not on here, let me know. If you ordered a merchandise between the set periods, you got a note and I will look back and see. But we got names. So, hopefully this planter is going to run this weekend and we're going to finish up corn. I figured I'd get that done. And last loads of manure are going out as far as what we can actually spread on. And the pit's about empty. So, we'll go take the 7520 off, throw it on the chisel plows, and we're going to chisel plow that in so it doesn't stink this weekend. Can't pump any more manure. What are you doing? You got any ticks on you from running around all day? Oh yeah. Wait, no, that's a burr. Is that a tick? That's manure. <laughs> People say I should put a camera on Yanko, show the life of Yanko. I do agree, except I don't think he'd enjoy it. He'd probably have it ripped off somewhere and we'd, we'd probably never see that camera again. So, he's a free spirit. But, let me jump up top and show you where we're at. Um, that's empty. There's you can see the floor where there's a little bit of solids on stuff, but that is all the way empty, I think. Well, damn close. Might have two inches you could probably get, maybe an inch, but it was sucking air as it was going. So right here is there's a trap door that I got shut now, but that pump really should be down lower, and they usually are. But when they built this, for some reason, somebody talked them into not having all this pad lower which it should have been. At some point we might do that, so. That's a win. Alrighty, let's go chisel plowing. The fact that the 7520 has literally run all day and not missed the beat, I'm believing that, yeah, it's something in the tank or before the uh, lift pump. So, that's a good sign though. But we gotta get the tanks empty, they're full. Well, they ran for seven hours, they still got like, 150 gallons of fuel in it. So I think this thing holds like 140 uh, gallons. So. Alrighty, let's go chisel plow that field and see where we can get into. Hopefully nothing breaks. We have a good, hopefully we got a good night. Working it in well. So this is wetter down in here, but we gotta do it otherwise. The rain that's gonna come in tonight into tomorrow honestly just gonna make it a mess. So I'm spinning a little bit of sideways. Well, we're getting it done. Decent ground. This should go pretty well. We did put it on heavy as far as the manure because as you remember a lot of water in it. But that also means I lose some of my traction ability. But it's only down in the wet spots. Once we get off
fuel's actually in it now. Now that we put it through a day of work. And uh, hopefully we get that solved. But we are done chisel plowing. It was a good day. We're not done yet though. Since rain's coming and I got uh, 16, 17 acres dis and ready to go, we're gonna go plant that. That's my plan at least, hopefully it goes smooth. But it's nine o'clock now and well, tomorrow looks like a wash, so we gotta keep moving. Doing a little shuffle. Planter was in the back of the hoop building. I think I'm gonna slide this into the back. That will go in the middle. We got knives and stuff coming for that. I got a box on the porch of all sorts of stuff, so yeah. Hopefully it gets here in time that I can throw it all in and we'll be good, but back this in because it is going to rain later. Well, hopefully tomorrow morning. So I'm moving equipment around and I saw a car pull up and I honestly thought it was Andy. And uh, this guy comes walking around the corner and I did order Uber Eats and they usually drop it off at the up front at my parents' house. It's what I got written down. I figured it'd be good to eat something before we starve. So I got some Panera. Probably the best thing on Uber Eats around here. And uh, this guy comes walking around the corner and Yanko's following him. And I'm like, oh! And he goes, I was gonna leave it up front, but I saw your dot when we were location back. He said, I tried calling you. I said, well, now I know where my phone is. It's right there. Um, he goes, this is the craziest drop-off I've ever had. And I was like, I appreciate it, so. Pretty wild. But we'll get things put away. Then we'll eat our dinner as we plant with uh, auto steer so we can actually enjoy our dinner. So FJ Dynamics, link is down below. I got some cool things coming with them as well. Um, more functions, so make sure you check it out. Link is down below, it brings you to a Duffy Ag tab that they know you followed. So everybody go click the, the link in the description of this video. Goal for next year, I have a tractor that's just gonna be hooked to the planter because, well, when you unhook everything, so the planter junction and everything, it kills that. <laughs> well, it recalibrates it or resets all your numbers. So just went through that, we gotta calibrate the 400 foot. We are connected now on auto steer, so FJ Dynamics, like I said before. Hit the link below. That way they know you're actually watching videos and get some interest in it, and it will keep bumping up them wanting me to showcase this to you, which is sweet. So, I'm, I've am i been loving it. I planted, I don't know, 95% of the corn, 90% of the corn with auto steer, and it's looking great. So, we're wired back in. I gotta load some seed. I'm, yeah, it's not 4.30 in the morning. It is uh, 9.39. So let's load some seed and get going. What a night. So it is 11.40. We're out here planting. Um, it's an 11 acres section. So rolling along 3.8 to four miles an hour. Um, a little bit bumpier. Yeah, I think because I didn't have the rolling baskets all the way down the whole time or the discs. Because we worked this ground and then I dissed it and it was a little wet, but doing a good job. I am absolutely exhausted and this FJ Dynamics auto steer is saving my life right now because I'm sitting here. I got my Uber Eats, uh, I got Pan Panera and uh, Hey, you want some chicken? There you go, buddy. We're sitting here watching planter monitor, watching the planter, jamming out, eating Uber Eats. Well, eating Panera. Yeah, I'm ready for bed. I don't know if I'm getting sick or if it's just my allergies. My chest is starting to hurt. <laughs> like I'm getting sick and uh, my throat's sore, but that's... Well, that might be from allergies. Sure hope I don't have that, you know, disease that has locked up the world for a long time. Wouldn't be surprised, we've made it this long, we might as well. 
But uh, yeah, planter's rolling really, really nice. This has been on point today. Hooked right up when we got everything going. We got some things coming down the road um, as far as new functions that are gonna come. So make sure you slide down, hit the link um, for FJ Dynamics. Check it out. Um, if you got any questions, drop them in the comments. Yeah, I've been I've been really really happy with it. So, and I'm not here to sell you on it. Um, just to review what goes on. If it was a piece of crap, I would tell you it's a piece of crap. But the fact that it's literally keeping me going most days and allowing me to focus on other things while I'm still planting. But that's part of it, right? So. Alrighty, I'm gonna keep eating my uh, dinner before it becomes tomorrow, and. Uh, I'll check back in with you guys. That is it for ground that is ready. We got one field that we chisel plowed earlier that needs to get dissed. And then that can get planted. But because it's going to rain, probably won't get planted until end of the weekend or so. I am beyond exhausted. Like, I've never been able to be this tired and still functioning planting corn. Um, auto steer, I, I can now officially say I know why you see so many auto steer accidents in big fields where somebody fell asleep and ran the tractor into something or over the ravine or into the ditch or all sorts of stuff I'm smoked I'm so tired but I'm gonna get this home back to the farm and then I'm gonna go home so appreciate you guys watching along a little bit of everything today getting corn in the ground big priority um and manure out so it was a good day well, appreciate you guys and i'll see you guys on the next one have a good one